Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am an English scholar, Professor Adnan Noon. Today we are going to discuss the uh, the Chaucer age. Today I will discuss the Chaucer age and the next lecture inshallah we would discuss the language uh, of the Chaucer age. Before Chaucer we would we discuss the medieval ages. Before medieval ages in 450 to 1066 it was the time of Anglo-Saxon age. England was ruled by the different tribes. For example, Jutes, Saxon and Anglo. And in 1066, the Normans came here, they came from the Scandinavian country and they invaded England. It was a time of invasion the England. Actually the Normans were sea thieves, they were sea ruffian and they attacked on France and they invaded France. They occupied on France. They lived here. They developed themselves. And they acquired qualities from the French. And they became the mature nation. They acquired knowledge. They acquired language qualities and eventually they attacked on England and it was the time of invasion of England in 1066. The king who came here in England and he uh, invaded England he went back to his country after some time and he left his journal here his journal and the normans imposed their language on the french uh, on the england people the common old english speaking persons and they also impose their literature and it was it was the bad time for the for the common people and the common people uh, were ruled by the uh, by the normans they were they were french speaking persons and the old english speaking person were in trouble because no in this time their ruler was changed first i mentioned uh, england was ruled by by the different tribes and uh, england was ruled by the romans and after this uh, no in this time the the Normans came here and they did it. Exploitation, uh, exploitation was continued because the the common people were possessor, they were slave, they were subject, and uh, we we know that a slave has no mind. His mind is in the hand of his master. The, the, the slave has, has no ideas. 
Slave has no feeling. Slave has no emotions because he, he his everything is in the hand of his master. And similarly, uh, in in this time, uh, the the England people were slave. The the uh, rulers impose their language. The ruler impose their their literature. Similarly, if we discuss the history of India and the present condition in India, if we discuss the uh, condition of uh, uh, Kashmir in India, we, we, we can understand what is the meaning of slavery. People are dying in Kashmir. Children are dying in Kashmir. Fem females are being raped by the Indian forces. And it is the example of of uh, barbarism, it is the example of uh, brutus. And uh, similarly, in England, when they were slave, uh, the the condition was miserable. And and other uh, aspect of uh, exploitation, it was the church. Church was totally corrupt in this age because church was in in the hand of uh, elite and uh, the the church uh, was uh, benefited by by the elite and they were giving money elite class was giving money and uh, church was completely uh, perished. Church was completely perished. This is why we can say that and the, the writers who wrote in, in the Chaucer age, they said church was totally corrupt in this age. The common people, even, even the common people could not have entered in the church without the permission of the Pope. And it was a, a great example of exploitation. The common people could not have read, uh, read the Bible text without the permission of the of the church. Church means the Pope. It was the time of God dominance. It was the it was the uh, the time of church dominance it was the time of a pope dominance very briefly and uh, peasant revolt came in this age a labor revolt came in this age because uh, the people were dying in in thousand hundred year war who is present in this age in these ages, in these ages, who is present in these ages? Because uh, in this time, a, a hundred year was a war was continued, and this war was between the uh, England and French, and people were dying. This why why the, the labor was not enough. Work was was enough. They, the elite was dominant. They, they made them the, the work, hard work, but they were not giving proper wages, proper salaries. And it was a great exa example of exploitation. If we discuss the Chaucer age, uh, Chaucer uh, was born in 1340 and he died in 14, uh, 1400. His father was a merchant. His, his, his father had a relationship with the, uh, with the court. This is why Chaucer uh, joined, joined a, a court uh, early of his age 
he fought uh, uh, the battle who was continue between uh, the between the uh, England and and France and he became the war prisoner Chaucer was arrested by the uh, French army but but he had uh, great relationship uh, with the uh, with the court with the uh, king edward the 3rd he made him the freedom and chaucer also uh, uh, was founder of journey he went uh, in italy and he got the idea of uh, uh, renaissance and this why he was founder of science he was founder of uh, founder of log logicality he was founder of rationality he was a uh, he was a great poet in a very brief meaning but in the age of chaucer things uh, begin to change in the age of chaucer uh, things begin to change the common people uh, who were exploited by uh, by the church by the uh, by the elite they came in front the common people acquired knowledge the common people acquired the qualities of the language from the french they they adopted the uh, the culture of the french they were adopting the culture of the french they they acquired uh, refinement refinement of uh, style refinement of culture refinement of sophistication but before it they had no they were uh, they were innocent they were very innocent like my friend i have a friend he is very innocent and uh, my friends uh, saying to him that you you can't success in your business and he he said i i i, I can do it uh, because uh, there is no anything on my face that uh, i am a donkey like him they were very very simple they were, they, they were very straight the people uh, who were living in the england but in the age of chaucer things begin uh, begin to change i told early people uh, acquired culture like people acquired language and something else and it was a time when the first time language of english was on his peak the language of english uh, got the equal status and uh, this time it was a time when the english language was the language of the court and the literature uh, was also written uh, by by the uh, english people and it was a great time it was a time when uh, industry came uh, in england in came in front in england it was a time and but it was a great time of business everything uh, were going on and uh, the people came in front and he he said that uh, church is corrupt he gave the, the comments against the church they uh, no in this time they did not under the supremacy of church they became rebellious they became rebellious and they were they, they were justified 
because they can do it because time has changed time had changed and it was uh, because the chaucer was present in this age chaucer was uh, was present in in these in this time chaucer wrote chaucer wrote against the exploitation because, but but in a very polite manner in a very soft manner in a very very mild manner he wrote he he shows the uh, individual traits he shows the trait about the professions of the people he shows the culture of this time through through his characters for example if we discuss the canterbury tale we we have uh, we have a character like a wife of bath like a miller like a grave and like the knight he he he, uh, he shows the trash of this this age he he shows the corruption of this age and uh, uh, credit goes to chaucer and some uh, contemporary uh, prairie of, of chaucer uh, were also present for example william langland and john dawer william langland uh, completely he wrote against the church and the elite and in a very bold manner he said that church is corrupt we can't we, we can't uh, benefits from the church which because church is in the hand of uh, of the uh, of the elite and uh, high officials and john, uh, john dawer also did it they were the they they wrote very sterically chaucer also wrote uh, but he wrote in a blind manner because he was a mature poet he he was a real poet he shows uh, the trash of the of the society but in a blind manner we can understand and even chaucer was a founder of future chaucer was bridge between the medieval ages and the modern he sum up the medieval ages and he also uh, uh, told about the future future means Uh, the Chaucer was the person who was founder of Renaissance, and we all know that what is the meaning of Renaissance? Renaissance uh, means uh, revival, rejuvenation, regeneration, and it uh, credit goes to the Chaucer. Chaucer actually came Renaissance in the England, and it was a great quality of this great great poet. Uh, without chaucer you can't imagine it chaucer did it it uh, chaucer did it he was uh, reason is just he was a great poet and uh, uh, if we discuss the the peasant revolt and if we discuss the labor revolt it credit goes to the chaucer because chaucer gave the people language for example why not the bot in through this character chaucer is saying that there is a uh, there was a woman uh, and she was crying she was very bold he, she was crying that i have uh, uh, six husband and no i'm going to uh, and no i'm going uh, to uh, to the seven woman in medieval ages is uh, is saying that i have five a uh, six husband and it is very bold thing before chaucer you can't imagine it and it credit goes to chaucer 
when the Chaucer uh, gave curls to the people, people came in front and they, they said no because we want our rights without giving the rights it is impossible because people were dying with the uh, with the uh, war and uh, the labor was was not enough and and the work was uh, was uh, enough and uh, people said uh, gave us our right we want uh, maximum salaries maximum wages and it was the time when the when the uh, third class came in front uh, like the medieval uh, middle class before it uh, there was uh, two classes one is poor and the second is the rich and it was the first time when a third class came in front uh, middle middle class and it also credit goes to Chaucer that because Chaucer gave the language, Chaucer gave the curse, and the people came in front. It was my lecture. Uh, it was uh, the lecture about the uh, age of Chaucer and uh, before the Chaucer. Inshallah, we will uh, meet with our next lecture soon. Okay, Allah. Peace.